Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we learn how to find radius of curvature when the equations are given in polar coordinate system. And of course, this is very important for your university exam. I hope you remember we learned how to find radius of curvature in Cartesian system and then we learn how to find it in parametric system or rather parametric form of the equation is given and now the third and a very important type radius of curvature in polar coordinate system so look at this in Cartesian system every point in the two dimension is given by the uh, movement along the x direction and the movement along the y direction but in the polar coordinate system we do not have the x-axis and y-axis instead we have a point called the pole and a line called the initial line and every point in the two dimension will be given by the distance from pole to the point and the angle from initial line to the radius vector so the radius vector will be marked R and this will be marked theta in general so generally every point in the polar coordinate system will be R comma theta just like our X comma Y in Cartesian system in the polar coordinate system every point will be denoted by R comma theta Anyway, long back in class 11, when you learned modulus argument form in complex number, you are actually connecting the Cartesian system with the polar coordinate system. So what we do here is, we assume the positive x-axis to be the initial line. We assume the positive x-axis to be the initial line. In the polar system, we measure the distance from origin to the point and the angle at the same time if you are using Cartesian system we will measure just as usual x comma y so finally we find a relation that is x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta and r square equal to x square plus y square and theta is equal to tan inverse y by x and there are a lot of complex proofs uh, like what you call related to this but that is not included in your uh, let's say your syllabus and the way they ask questions and uh, our interest is only radius of curvature so if an equation is given in the polar form that is if the equation is given in terms of r and theta instead of x and y then the radius of curvature is given by r square plus r1 square the whole power 3 by 2 the whole divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r into r2 now look at this r means the given function that is f of theta and r1 stands for the derivative of r with respect to theta and r2 stands for the second order derivative of r with respect to theta so let's start the first question find the radius of curvature of the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta so look at this just like our Cartesian equations we have polar equations and by just looking at the question you will be able to understand this equation is uh, is defined in the polar coordinate system because instead of x and y they will use r and theta Anyway, this is a standard picture or a standard figure called the cardioid and the graph is very important, not right now, but when you calculate area and all those things 
and it looks like kind of like a heart and that's why the name heart cardioid so the shape looks something like this uh, when zero degree it's like 2a and 90 degree or 90 degree etc okay so we have to find the radius of curvature of the cardioid at any point r comma theta see like uh, any point x comma y here we have every point recognized by look this is r and this is theta this is r this is theta this is r this is theta okay at any point r comma theta also prove that radius of curvature square that's rho square divided by r is a constant okay let's start it's very easy means very easy so question number one is the given equation in cartesian form or is it in parametric form or is it in polar form of course the given equation is in polar form because we can see r and theta how do you recognize cartesian form our equations will be in the form y equal to f of x or an implicit function in x and y and what how do you recognize parametric form x and y will be given in terms of a third variable how do you recognize polar form very simple it will be in terms of r and theta okay so what we do is we write r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta and just like we did in the last two videos we will write the formula so r square plus r1 squared the whole power 3 by 2 the whole divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r r2 r1 means derivative of r with respect to theta what will be that a into derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of cos theta is okay that is r1 is minus a sin theta now we find r2 r2 means derivative of r1 with respect to theta that's the second order derivative of r so that gives me minus a into cos theta that's it now we have all our requirements we know the value of r we know r1 and we know r2 and we know the formula to find r so time to substitute and i still hope you remember a power m the whole power n is a to the power m into n okay and another important result that you need here in this problem is half angle formula do you know what is 1 plus cos theta it will be 2 cos square theta by 2 if you do not know half angle formula just check out our website and you can download the formula okay so let's calculate so rho is equal to r square what is r that will be a square 1 plus cos theta the whole square plus what is r1 because when you square this quantity it will become positive again r squared plus 2 into r1 squared minus r into r2 so what is r and r2 is here so this is going to be positive and this will be a square and cos theta which we will distribute in a second okay now things are easy so rho is equal to okay let's take a square common put another type of bracket what is 1 plus cos theta the whole square 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta 
plus sin square theta the whole power 3 by 2 the whole divided by okay, here also a square is common 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin square theta remember we took a square common plus distribute this okay now tell me what is cos square theta plus sin square theta 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so the numerator becomes this becomes 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so the numerator becomes 2 plus the whole divided by and let's count can you see cos square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin square theta okay so I'm going to write 1 plus and then 2 cos theta plus cos theta will give us yeah, 3 cos theta now what is 2 cos square theta plus 2 sin square theta that will be 2 so rho is equal to a square now look at this 2 will come outside 1 plus cos theta the whole power 3 by 2 the whole divided by a square in bracket listen very carefully I'm going to skip a lot of steps 2 will come common it will become 1 so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 will come common so 3 into now I hope you remember something which I taught you in the last two videos do you still remember x to the power 3 by 2 means x into root x or you can learn like smiley to the power 3 by 2 will be smiley times root under smiley so what happens here is 2 to the power 3 by 2 what is that 2 root 2 a square the whole power 3 by 2 1 plus cos theta the whole power 3 by 2 that will be 1 plus cos theta root under 1 plus cos theta you think about it and you will get it the whole divided by 3 a square into 1 plus cos theta so this 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 will get cancelled now I want you to uh, tell that half angle formula so 2 root 2 a by 3 tell me ah root under let's go back see the half angle formula come on come on come on what's that ah, 2 cos square theta by 2 and that will be 2 root 2 by 3 a times root 2 in the root will be so 2 into 2 so we can write rho is equal to 4 by 3 a cos theta by 2 ok now if you read the question you will understand this is not the end this is not the end because they asked us to prove something else they asked us to prove rho square by r is a constant ok it's very simple first of all let's find rho square that will be 16 by 9 a square cos square theta by 2 that is rho square is equal to 16 by 9 a square ok we to use a double angle formula now look at this from the question from our question do you know what is 1 plus cos theta you can go back Ah, 1 plus cos theta is r by a mm. that's it cross multiply rho square by r is equal to a constant okay 
now let's do something very similar to this very 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 similar and they asked that question in 2076 chaitra so please write find the radius of curvature find the radius of curvature of the cardioid r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta so as usual question number one is it polar yes so write down the formula for polar what is the radius of curvature r square plus r1 square power 3 by 2 the whole divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r r2 so just like before we find r1 what is r1 the derivative with respect to theta so that will be 0 plus sin theta that is r1 is equal to now what is r2 r2 means we are going to differentiate this again that means a into cos theta okay time to substitute so rho is equal to r square what is r square a square into 1 minus cos theta the whole squared plus r1 squared a square into sin square theta whole power 3 by 2 the whole divided by r square plus 2 r1 squared minus r r2 r is a into 1 minus cos theta and r2 is so this becomes a square and cos theta okay so you can simplify this okay, let's do it together so what comes common a square and put another bracket 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta plus sin square theta the whole divided by a square comes common 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin square theta minus you distribute the bracket so rho is equal to what is a square the whole power 3 by 2 and then what is cos square theta plus sin square theta that is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 comes common so 2 into 1 minus cos theta the whole power 3 by 2 the whole divided by a square into cos square theta plus cos square theta that will be uh, okay this will give 2 2 plus 1 is 3 I'm skipping a lot of steps in the assumption you can handle it okay now just like before you simplify you'll get the answer I'm skipping the steps intentionally I'm skipping the steps so that you won't get spoiled you try it if you get it it's like really good sine theta by 2 but I'm going to help you a little bit don't forget the trigonometric formula so that's it uh, two problems so we will come with more problems in the polar coordinate system and after that we will start pedal equations so in the next video we will be doing more problems based on uh, radius of curvature in polar coordinate system and in the video after that we will learn how to create pedal equations from Cartesian equations so I'm going to wind up this video right now so we'll be back very soon so till then my friends bye